OK, in this assignment, we're going to implement a program that expects exactly one command line argument. That's the name or the path of a Python file. So it's going to output the number of lines of code in that file. It's going to exclude the comments and blank lines. So if the user does not specify exactly one command line argument, or the file name does not end with .py for Python, or does not exist, the program will exit. So here's an example. Now all these are unsuccessful. And this here is our successful one. So we type Python. We called our program lines.py. And then in our command line argument, we also specified the name of our file hello.py. This is the one we're checking. So out here, it outputted two lines. So if I go over here to our workspace, I've created a folder called lines. Now I cd into that folder and I've created two files. This is hello.py, this is the file we're going to be analysing. So here I have a file with five lines of code in it. Now I have four comments and I have some blank lines. So by the time we're finished analysing this, it should output five for the five lines of code, ignoring the comments and the blank lines. So this is lines.py. So this is the program we're actually going to write. That's going to analyse hello.py. Okay, we'll start by importing sys. So that will give us access to sys v. So we're going to use an if statement. So if the length of sys v, and if that is smaller than 2, then we're going to call sys.exit, and then we're going to print the screen to few command line arguments. So elif the length of sys.argv is bigger than two. Then we're going to use sys.exit and we're going to type two many command line arguments. Now two I'm using two here because remember we're going to use Python. We're going to type Python and we're going to say lines.py that's the first argument. And hello.py in this case. That's our second argument. So one, two. So if it's smaller than two, then we're missing that or that. And if it's bigger than two, then we have an extra one we don't need. So these um, errors are going to be thrown and it's going to exit. OK, let's assume so that we do get two command line arguments, the two files here. So then we're going to use an else statement. So else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the name of syscargv1, which is going to be hello.py, to a new file name, like a new variable, just so it makes more sense to me. So this is what we're going to type in the command line, python lines.py followed by hello.py. So this is going to be syscargv0, and this is going to be syscargv1. So instead of just referring to syscargv1 all the time, I'm going to save that to a new variable called file name. Just make it easier to use from now on. So now that that's done, we're going to check to see if it's a Python file. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to do another if statement, so like a nested if statement here. Say if file name dot ends with. So that ends with is a Python method. So it checks the end of the file. I'm going to say here dot pi. Then we're going to do something. So else, so if it doesn't end with dot pi, then we're going to sys dot exit, and we're going to say not a Python file. OK, I can get rid of that now. So to do something now is the more complicated bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the file. So we're going to use with open. So what are we opening? We're opening file name. Remember, file name now should be hello.py at this stage. We're going to open it as file. So we're going to loop over every line in the file. So for line in file. 
So we open the file and we're looping over each line of them. And we're going to check, is it a blank line or is it a hash, which indicates a comment. We also need to make sure there's no space between the border and the hash here. I think this is one of the checks on check 50. Make sure there's no space here. Okay, back to here again. So what we're going to do is we're going to check each line in the file. And I'm going to use an if statement to find the hash. But I'm going to use a not. So just bear with me a second. So I'm going to say if not line dot start with. And here I'm going to put in the hash. So what am I doing here? So if the line doesn't start with a hash, it's then that we're going to do something. So I remember I mentioned up here about the gap. So I'm going to take away any gaps. So we're going to strip any leading spaces here. So if like that is entered, then we're going to strip it back. So to do that, I'm going to insert in here is L strip. It's a bit convoluted, I know, but so again, if the line doesn't contain, so if not line, when it's stripped away from the left, and if it doesn't start with a hash, then we're going to include it. That's, then we're going to say, apart from the blank line, it's a valid line. Okay, we'll, we'll worry about the blank line in a minute. But at the moment, we're going to say it's a line. So what I'm going to do up here is going to start a variable called count. And will set that to zero. So down here, I'm going to go count plus equal to one. So if the line is stripped away and it doesn't start with a hash, for the moment, it's a valid line. So the next thing we've got to do is worry about our blank lines. So we have the, the um, comments sorted. We've worried about our blank lines here for our file. So these blank lines. So for this, I had to do a bit of research. And I don't know where I found this, probably on Stack Overflow or something. But I said and line dot split is not equal to an empty list. So apparently, and I don't know why this works, but apparently this will capture a blank line. So that line there and that line there and that line there. So altogether one more time, we're going through our file line by line. And we're checking if the line once stripped away is equal to that, a hash. And we're checking that it's not. So if it's not, it's counted. If it is, it's ignored. Okay, we're going to use an else statement to ignore it. And then we're checking for, for the blank lines. We're using this piece of code here. So and line that split is not equal to an empty list. So the last thing we need to do now to make sure the file exists within the folder. So here we have lines. I got ls. So hello.py and lines.py exists. But if our file that we call the command line isn't in here, then we're going to show an error. It's going to be a file not found error. So I'm going to do a try and accept statement. So I'm going to say try. And down here I'm going to do accept. So I'm going to indent this now using control and the right square bracket. So we're trying to open this file. And if it's not found, then we're going to throw a file not found error. And if that is encountered, we're going to sys.exit. And we're going to say file does not exist. OK, this looks like our file is done. So I'm going to try it now. I'm going to clear here. And I'm going to say Python. I'm going to call lines.py. And I'm going to call hello.py. So brilliant, we got five. So it has counted our lines of code. And here we have one, two, three, four, five. So that's correct. I'm going to clear it and I'm going to call it and I'm going to forget hello.py. Too many, sorry, too few command lines, so perfect. And say hello.py again. And I'm going to say test.py. Too many command line arguments, perfect. 
So what if we do it here and I'm going to say text. So hello at txt instead of hello dot py, not a Python file. Perfect. So I'm going to go across here to our check 50. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it in here. And OK, we have all greens. So the file worked past check 50. So thank you for joining me in this video, and hopefully I will see you in another one soon.